got to keep those pits clean and other areas, of course. But I don't like the feeling of having to need to take a shower after watching a movie. It's a whole other level of being dirty that you just can't get rid of. And while many of you may be tired of found footage films, because no one wants to see a person freaking out in a goldfish bowl lens. Welcome to another episode of the Popcorn Confessional during our 31 days of Halloween. This is Dave from Nerdbox, and I'm accompanied by my wife, Jen, from Nerdbox. And we are talking about the movie Creep and how it uses the shaky cam found footage to its advantage. So fire up that so fire up that Jiffy Pop and meet us in the booth. <laughs> Joseph is dying from cancer. He wants to film himself in full health, warts and all, for his unborn son so that he can see what his father was like. He places an ad for a videographer, which Aaron answers. Only a few hours into filming, Joseph begins to act odd and Aaron begins to question if Joseph has other intentions. This title of the film really sums up the entire movie. The oh, yeah. pure definition of this movie is this movie. Yes. In fact, there is a new movie on Shudder called Superhost that does tend to borrow some of the scenes in this movie. So if you like that movie, I say you go check this one out because you're going to like it a little bit more than that one, if not a lot more. What did you think of this one? So this is another one that is creepy beyond belief because it could happen. Yes. It could 100% happen. I'm not going to say it could happen. I'm saying it probably has happened multiple times yeah. and we just yes. don't know about it. Yes, that's exactly it. It it has happened. We just don't know about it, but it's happened. Mm -hmm. It is creepy as fuck. Definitely. Mark Duplass as Joseph. <laughs> I don't even know where this guy comes from. Like he he really plays this role so damn well. He is from the league, and for anybody who watches on Apple TV, uh, he's from the morning show as well. He is an excellent actor, but yeah, he really takes the creep factor in this one. <laughs> yeah, this is a two-person film, so starring yep. alongside him is the director is Patrick Rice, mm -hmm. who plays Aaron. And um, for them being good friends, because this movie just kind of popped up over some conversations. There's really no script to it. It was a lot of improv done. Even he seems creeped out in the movie. So he yeah. brought some of that creepiness to the film. So I think when you find out that most of the movie was improvised, that really takes the creep factor to a whole new level. Yeah. <laughs> because it makes you feel like, what the fuck is wrong with these guys? Mm -hmm. Like... <laughs> yeah, and there's the scenes that, you know, why this kind of makes you feel dirty is just because the way Mark Duplass acts in this film. Yeah. It's just like, it's not like mentally disturbing or like he has mental issues. He's calculated in everything that he does in this film. Mm -hmm. And he kind of, I think he's deliberately trying to make the person uncomfortable. Yes. It's like a cat and mouse game in this Yes, film. and he makes the viewer feel uncomfortable mm -hmm. too. <laughs> this is another good shaky cam film where, you know, you're seeing it through the eyes of the cameraman and you're almost like that cameraman. Yeah. Definitely. There are there are some scenes that are just yeah. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. You're just like you'll watch it and you're just like, what the fuck did I just watch? Yeah, so there's there's Again, two people in this movie, well acted. It spawned a sequel. Since this is our final episode for 31 Days of Halloween, we started with a lot of one-parters because we'll come back to second-parters next year for the second round of 31 Days of Halloween. 
this first film and the second film, great films to watch. So you don't have to wait for a review. Go watch the both of them. Back to back. That's what we did. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. We discovered them and then watched them back to back. Mm -hmm. And then you can go out and buy some merchandise for it because it is available at Fright Rags. Yeah. And uh, you may want to after you see the entire film. Mm -hmm. So, does this film disturb you a little bit? Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just a little too prudish. I don't know. Let us know in those comments. And what is your rating for this film? What is your review for this film? Are there other films that are as creepy as this? And then Mark Duplass. Damn, how good was he in this in this movie? So let us know by putting those in the comments. <laughs> and don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on the notifications, and share. And until our next regular review, see you. See ya. See ya.